So if this shoe was a sports car, would it be a Jag? So this is the Nike Air Zoom Structure 21. And I got this shoe off the back of getting a pair of Structure 19s, which I really liked. So I was quite looking forward to getting the 21. Yeah, I kind of skipped over the 20. This is your traditional kind of road shoe. It's stability, it has moderate stability, I would say. Um, you're looking at a 10 millimeter heel to toe drop. It does fit true to size. You've got a fairly traditional looking uh, rubber outsole there, a bit of mud and sand from where I've been running. Um, the midsole is a dual density foam and it also has an air unit in there. And then you've got this very smart looking mesh upper as well. Hasn't got as much as the on the fly wire as my older, older pair do. It's got some here, but at the front it uses a, a slightly more traditional lacing system. In terms of weight, as I say, running true to size, so for me a UK size 11, you're looking at 328 grams or 11 and 5 8 ounces. So let's get into what is great and maybe what's not so great. Well, for a start, it, up to me, this looks really sleek, really smart looking shoe. Sleek like a Jag, one could say. Um, yeah, it comes in a variety of colors, different sort of style here. I mean, I think it looks smarter than the 19, the Structure 19, that had that kind of weird pillar post design thing there in the sole. I like the, sh the look of that, but this to me just looks really smart. This is definitely a shoe you could wear casually and then go for a run and what have you. To, uh, to my eyes, it just looks, well, yeah, I just think it looks very, very sleek. In terms of the outsole, yeah, no problems, no slip, no hassle, just grips. I've run in some fairly horrible weather conditions with this in the freezing wet and cold. Haven't actually had any ice as such. Don't think anything would do particularly well in the ice. But yeah, a variety of different conditions and no, no hassles whatsoever. One of the nice things I find about the midsole is the way that the shoe transitions, the way it kind of rolls through. They've got the air unit in there and I don't feel really the air unit as such, which is probably a good thing. If I could feel that, then that wouldn't be good. But I like, it feels, as I say, a really smooth transition. Bear in mind, you've got the stability in there to give you the arch support. You've got various things going on with the dual density foam and the air unit. And yet just that, that way that it goes through the foot strike, when either if I was uh, heel striking or I was toe striking or whatever, just just yeah, really, really smooth. Again, a bit like a Jag. Other nice thing as well, the upper, wow. Really comfortable. You gotta hand it to Nike. Um, they just seem to get the sizing, uh, in my opinion, just dialed in. You put this shoe on and it instantly feels great. Just enough room for your toes to splay, it's not loose, it's not tight, it just felt right. And was feeling good on the run, I didn't get any hot spots. Yeah, just very, very comfortable. All round, very impressive. Um, it also feels well built, it feels robust, it feels durable, I think this thing's gonna go on and on. My old ones still wearing and running them now, they're, they're running good. These are now kind of, have kind of taken over, do use the other ones a little bit still. But yeah, I think, I think you'll get good longevity out of these as well. So yeah, really impressive. But it's not all beach holidays in Saint-Tropez. What are the things that maybe aren't so great? Well, I haven't found anything that particularly irksome, but more of an observation would be that I, it feels, in my mind, um, to me, in the 19, that that had a little bit more snap to it, to the way that it, it, it sort of popped off, maybe a little bit, well, to be frank, a little bit better, but this feels smoother. So I, I, I feel that they've kind of got that really smooth ride, that really smooth transition, like, 
I know, it's getting, I'm getting repetitive now, like a, like a Jaguar suspension. You wouldn't imagine a Jag suspension to be hard and brittle. You would imagine it to be sort of smooth and sleek and sporty. And I know that's maybe a ridiculous comparison with a shoe, but in my mind, that's what came to me is, is the other one had just that little bit more pop, that little bit more zing, whereas this is just feels that little bit more refined. Whether you would prefer either one of those, that's going to kind of come down to you. And maybe to want to have the pop and the zip and the smooth transition, maybe maybe that's kind of like, it's, it's always going to be a balance. Maybe you, you, you lose one, you gain with the other. It, it just, I found myself really liking the smoothness, but just maybe wishing it had a tiny more pop like the other ones I had. But I am nitpicking in the extreme because I do like the ride in this because it does feel so smooth. So yeah, it really, I haven't got any particular gripes because it, it is a, a very, very good shoe. So my initial statement is, is this running shoe a bit like a Jaguar sports car? Then yeah, I think so. Because that when I was running in it, I was, as I'm out running, I'm sometimes thinking what, how I would describe the shoe when I do these videos. And that thought popped into my head admittedly after I had been watching Top Gear on TV um, but nonetheless the thought came in there and I thought yeah actually these do feel a bit like a Jag in that way and the more I thought about it the more I didn't find anything in my head to contradict that somewhat silly comparison. Uh, in terms of grading I, yeah I really like the shoe and I've got no criticism so it's five stars gotta be it's just it's nice to run in it's comfortable the upper's fantastic, the transition is really smooth. I think you could grind out a lot of miles in this. And I think it'd be very flexible. I think you could do short runs, medium, long, and you can do tempo, you can do, you could do pretty much anything in this. I don't really feel there's anything restrictive. It does, it has a wide uh, spread of talents, I think. So yeah, yeah, great shoe. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.